Hey, good evening. It's Rachel from Burn That Butter. And I wanted to talk a little bit about holiday motivation. Uh, we just had Thanksgiving, Hanukkah is starting in just a, a, a day or two. And of course, Christmas is coming up as well. And what does this all mean? Well, people are bringing in all kinds of treats into the office. Um, there's lots of special parties, maybe um, festive um, alcoholic drinks, things that maybe you only eat the w one time of year. And so how, how do we cope with that? And how do we avoid kind of just getting uh, mentally defeated and um, just having some serious setbacks? Well, one is um, just try to keep to your normal routine as much as possible. And that means if you're used to getting up in the morning and exercising, then you know what? Get up in the morning and exercise. You can still go and do that um, party on the weekend, but you don't have to stay out all night long, you know? You can go and you can see your friends and you can um, do these festive things. You can sample things from from the the buffet at the party, that sort of thing. But try as much as possible to keep in your normal routine. I find that if I put on my workout clothes and I don't get out of my workout clothes until I actually work out, that is something that kind of motivates me, um, especially if it's the weekend and um, I, I've, I've just got too much time you know, on my hands. And then it's like, oh no, I waited too long to exercise, so now I'm not gonna do it. Nope, if I can't get out of these clothes until I go and actually do my workout. So that's one way that I, um, I, I try to keep myself going. Another thing is, um, and something that I do in my brain, is I ask myself, is this a special food? What, what do I mean by that? So let's say I go to a party and there's a bowl of M&Ms. I can eat M&Ms anytime I wanted to. I could go to any store, I could buy M&Ms, I could go to a gas station, I could go to a grocery store. M&Ms aren't special. So I don't have to eat that when I'm at the party. Same thing goes for um, something like maybe potato chips, okay? I don't have to eat potato chips. Potato chips aren't special. Now, my, for example, my friend Laura always makes these really, this um, kind of yummy meatball thing that she makes with jelly and it's, it's super delicious. And she only makes it for her Christmas party, okay? So to me, that's something that's special. And yeah, if it's something that's special, then go ahead and eat it. Um, but you don't have to eat 10 meatballs. Like you can have one or two meatballs and then and then there you go. You had your special treat and you don't feel like you're being deprived and you can move on. So another thing to keep in the back of your mind is if you're eating something that has more carbohydrates in it than you are used to on, on your, you know, your diet plan. Remember, if you break down the word carbohydrate, right? Hydrate, hydrate. Carbohydrates want to hang on to water. So if you eat more carbohydrates and then you go and you step on the scale, it looks like you gained a whole bunch of weight because your body's gonna hold on to a bunch of water weight. Drinking fluids is gonna help flush all of that out, and um, but expect it. Right, it can be demoralizing if you step on the scale and like, oh my God, I, I, I gained two or three pounds. Right, you, you really didn't. It's just water weight, and you're gonna get rid of it. So, um, these are my little hip, my little tips, <laughs> tips. These are my tips for, um, for kind of keeping with the program on on the holidays. And um, on that note, pulling my gonna go ahead and pull my hair back because I am gonna go and do myself a workout. What's on tap for this evening? Well, I'm gonna do a round of figure eight fitness and um, I'm gonna burn that butter, right? All right, have a great evening. Thanks so much, I love you all.